Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, this video might be a little long, but I think it's gonna be worth it. You are going to hear me talk about Mitch McConnell, the Republican Party, a little bit about Donald Trump, and a little bit about me. I wanna begin by telling all of you that I am the only Republican candidate for Kentucky governor who is saying Mitch McConnell has got to go. Mitch McConnell has been sitting there in the U.S. Senate as our national debt hits $31 trillion. This is a guy who plays footsie with the Dems, always has, always wills. He's friends with Joe Biden. This is a guy, China Mitch, who him and Elaine Chao are connected as deep as can be with the China Communist Party. This is a guy that couldn't get us a bridge built up here, even with John Boehner on the other side of the bridge. This is a guy who wanted to see Trump's demise after that one date. You know what I'm talking about. This is a guy who's betrayed Trump, betrayed us every, every place. He's been sanctioned by almost 10 counties in Kentucky by the Republican Party. He's been sanctioned by the Alaskan Republican Party. I mean, Mitch McConnell is everything that's wrong about politics. Do you know who controls the state Republican Party? Mitch McConnell. Uh, Dinesh D'Souza, when he spoke down at the um, uh, rally, he said, you know, we could do better than Mitch. Clark says, Sheriff Clark, we have to be careful of finding other people or electing Republicans who are bad as the Democrats. You know, Rand Paul's had his issues with Mitch McConnell, big time. Um, so here's the latest. You're going to love this. You all know that I was not allowed. I was the only declared gubernatorial candidate for governor that wasn't allowed to speak at Fancy Farm. And you heard about the Floyd County thing. Well, I got this thing from the state Republican Party, Mac Brown, claiming this Thursday and this Friday, they're having an event with Republican donors and they don't have time to do question and answers with everybody. Um, so they're gonna pick five. Guess who is the one Republican candidate for governor who didn't get picked to do the question and answer? By the way, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to be the anti-Mitch McConnell candidate, the party outlaw, so to speak, the Trump guy, and then play footsie with them. By the way, I want to share some more about, as it ties into Donald Trump, Daniel Cameron, if you notice, Daniel Cameron has never said one word about that date in history, has never said anything about that election in history, has he? He never attends anything relative to Trump. You wonder why the Trump bikers and Ride for 45 have endorsed me? And there's another candidate, Kamala Maddox, who's never attended a Trump event in her life. What they do, it, it cracks me up that they, they want to try to play footsie where it's good. Typical politician fake, where I'm all in. The other thing that you need to remember is, remember I have, the, I have said that I will support the nominee for governor from the Republican Party, no matter who it is. I've done that. I've said that. Um, so you need to know, not only is the media against me, uh, the Republican establishment, Mitch McConnell's against me. Why? Because I speak out against them. I do. I do. Uh, some more things along these lines. If you are a Kenton County Republican, Remember, if you were part of that group trying to kick out the establishment like they did in Boone County and tried to do in Campbell County, or did in Campbell County, you failed in Kenton County. Remember, I met with your leaders. I was prepared to sue them for you. I, I mean, I was all in fighting for you. I did shows about it. Remember Scott Kimmick, Weebles Wobbles Doesn't Fall Down? So if you are a Republican voter that doesn't like that gang, that controls the current Kenton County Republican Party. Remember, I'm the guy that joined forces to help you fight that. Some more things that I just, I'm gonna close with this. Um, you know, I'm not for everyone. I'm not for everyone. 
That's not why I'm running for office. But I want to tell you something. I am holding Liberty Fest around the state of Kentucky that are fun, great speakers. They're free. You get a free book. Heck, in Lexington, the way we had to set this up, I even got to pay for the food. So you get a free meal in Lexington. And that Liberty Fest schedule is posted, and there's a video about it. But do these other candidates do that? No, all they do is ask you for money. When I'm self-financing, I post funny memes. They don't. They're still anal, oh, God, you know, you know, all full of them saying, you know, or, oh, that, that, that's less serious. No sense of humor. No sense of humor. Um, they don't fight for you. They're not outspoken like I am. They're not loyal to you like I am. They don't have my heart. They're out for them, not you. Think about that. It's what you can do for them, not what they can do for you. I have no support, no support from any political uh, establishment organization at all. I don't want them. I'm also the only candidate, remember this, besides the anti-McConnell, I'm the only candidate that says we need to allow sports gaming, we need to allow casino gambling. Gaming is in this community. What else am I the only Republican nominee for? I'm the only Republican nominee that says time to legalize marijuana, pot. Over 21, treated just like we do liquor, also have medicinal marijuana. I check all the boxes for a conservative Republican candidate, same as them. But I'm different from all of them in a good way. The choice is clear, folks. I also got a better resume. I'm smarter than all of them. Even Mr. Harvard, Ryan Qualls. You want to you elect a Harvard guy, Governor? You, you know what? I'm the, I'm the best candidate that can beat Andy Bashir too. Daniel Cameron has a millstone around his neck with that Breonna Taylor issue in a general election. I can appeal to conservative Democrats. Why? Because I fight for people. Check out the Butcher of Pakistan. I'm fighting for people against the corporate health care establishment. Who supports? Republicans. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that. I am the guy to win the Republican nominee. I am going to win. And I am also going to win the general election. I, I am the only candidate running for Republican governor that can beat Andy Bashir. I'm it. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Thank you.